In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, we revisit the month of February 2022 where Gary builds out his cabinetry for his workshop. We discuss what happens when a moose is struck and killed by a vehicle and a program that helps feed Alaskan families. We then attend our first Iron Dog snow machine start out in the swamps behind our house and we try to get out of a couple sticky situations or should I say icy situations around the homestead. Awesome looking. I'm kind of happy about it. Glad to see we're finally getting our windows taped too. <laughs> Sealed in. Uh, yeah, this is exciting. Wow. Doing a good job. Well, hello from the Houston Hideaway. Today is February 26th and we are deep into winter, but you wouldn't know it. Uh, it is like 40 degrees and fabulous. I I'm wearing shorts <laughs> uh, the sun is shining um i'm gonna flip around the camera and show you gary ice skating in our backyard <laughs> it's really slippery <laughs> they haven't put any uh sand down there have they i think they have but it's just all melted into the ice <laughs> poor sophie this morning she uh, couldn't get traction and was slipping all over the place. But as you can see, we are getting our siding. They started yesterday and they got half of the side of the shop done, but it looks awesome. The material that they're using is a LP smart side. It's already, it comes pre-painted and uh, it's an engineered wood. Um, kind of like a hardy plank and this is called coastal gray and we'll get to um, paint the complementary color trim we get to pick that that's why you see this tan it won't stay this but uh no, it's, we, it's just primer just primer we got to figure that one out and a metal metal siding down low where the uh house wrappers yeah, in some parts of the house it will be stone, but around the shop it's going to be a, a metal siding right here. Make it more look like a shop. Yeah, just to break it up. Yeah. Just make it look nice. And the soffits, that's new. Yeah. They just put that in with all our lights. Pretty nice. Pretty exciting. That's one way to do it. Automatic slander. <laughs> Automatic slander. I do have to say one thing. I have learned that one essential item, if you need a quick run outside, works amazing in icy weather. And that would be Crocs. Crocs are an essential item to Alaska's footwear might laugh at a croc wearing person but they're pretty popular here and i see why it actually sticks to the ice pretty darn well crazy. I don't know why they the ice. way better than my tennis shoes but uh yeah welcome to the end of february spring is around the corner i know i haven't filmed much lately so let's go inside and see what we've been up to a lot of change has been happening Welcome to our shop house. As you can see, we have literally moved in. Last weekend, we got everything out of our big enclosed trailer and brought in all of our totes. We've got about 60 totes that we offloaded. We really haven't dug into them just because it's normal houseware stuff, but they're inside the shop 
and we were able to actually get out some of our furniture, which has really helped me with some of our choices we need to make with paint colors and such. But with that also, we were able to uh, bring our dining room table out, which is really nice. However, currently, <laughs> it's a little full. We did a Costco haul shop yesterday, um, and uh, all of our pantry items that we bought at Costco are currently on the table. But with that, we are also able to add some of our furniture from the old house, along with our shop couch that we bought. So we have a nice living area outside of the motor home where we're able to stretch out a little bit and really enjoy our space. I know right now grocery prices are at a premium and we figured we might as well go shopping now before they get even worse. So that's our haul. Uh, we spent a lot. This is the highest grocery bill we've ever done in one shopping stop. So here's some more um, color palettes that we're doing in the house. This is our flooring. It's called Wonderwood and it is an engineered hardwood, but it's ceramic on the bottom and we could actually mop this. So that's one reason why we went with this, just because you do happen to have more um, scenarios of a wet floor here in Alaska coming in with the snow. This is gonna be our island kitchen color um, on the cabinets in the island in the kitchen. And this is the back exterior wall where our refrigerator ovens and range are gonna be. That's gonna be the cabinet color. Also with these different door frames. So we'll be plain in the back and fancy in the middle. We then met with the builder's wife to help solidify our main colors for the interior of the house. The main colors that we chose for most walls was called Mindful Gray by Sherwin-Williams. Later that week, the painters arrived and the house started to come to life. Pretty damn nice. Wow. It's looking good. With the ceilings done, it was time to do our accent colors. A drift in my office and Oceanside for the master bedroom. Then it was time to finish up all the walls with mindful gray. We love the finished product. Next up for the painters was to stain up all of our wood trim and doors. Our trim package was different sizes and thickness of hemlock depending on the application and it was stained with Old Masters Spanish Oak. Meanwhile, outside the siding crew continued to brave the ever fluctuating weather to finish up the siding on all sides of the house. And let's not forget the tile guy. He was busy getting our upstairs shower done so Gary and I could actually use a real shower instead of the RV shower, considering we've been using it for almost a year now. Next up on our list of projects was a shop bar. Gary and I have always wanted a home bar and this seemed like a perfect time to throw something together. With a couple more cabinets from the big box store and some mad skills by Gary, we had the makings of a shop bar in no time. As the month of March marched on, so did the work in and around the house. The tile guy continued with all of our accent tile in all the bathrooms and fireplace areas.
Then the Finnish carpenter came on the job site and continued to wow us each and every day with his amazing craftsmanship. And the siding continued as did the masonry on the front side of the house. Every day the house starts to come together exactly how we had envisioned it. It's amazing how far we've come in really such a short amount of time. Day, everyone Woo! almost slept today is March 20th and I know it has been a forever and a day since we picked up the camera so I thought I'd pick it up today and say hi uh, first day of spring and it is gorgeous yesterday we actually had our warmest warmest day of the year it was 46.6 degrees yesterday so spring it's in the air in fact these birch trees right here they're budding out I took a picture this morning and I can see little buds and little leaves not even April yet. Mother Nature is a little confused. But with that, today, we have spring fever, guys. And uh, on the first day of spring, we are going to dig out the boat. This is gonna be a big boating year for us. We're super excited. We hope we can get away from the build uh, quite a bit this summer, because hopefully we'll be done. Uh, as you can see, we're moving right along, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of snow on the boat. So let's go over there, check it out, and uh, see what we got going on. I have to be very careful in walking because our driveway is a skating rink. But uh, right over there, that's where we're going. Well, that's some snow. Oh yeah, that's a little bit of snow. That's, that's the season condensed about into two and a half feet. This side over here was up a little higher, so it's kind of gone down a little bit. So it, it, was, it was over top of the side rail here. Yeah. Above my knee. Welcome aboard the Naughty Pleasure. This is our 30 foot, or she's actually about 32 feet from tip to tail or bow to stern, uh, but she's a 290 Adventure Hughes Craft. And what we love about her is she is a pleasure boat as well as an ultimate fishing boat. So we can take her out for extended fishing trips or cruises and not worry about having to hit the boat ramp at the end of the day. We're really excited about having her. We only got her out a few times last year. The build was just too important to be around and uh, hopefully this year we can really get out and use her a lot. We have a lot planned but uh yeah. You want to go on a tour? So we are inside the cabin here and we are looking aft. Aft is back of the boat. And uh, what we've got here on the starboard side is our galley. We do have a diesel uh, stove here, which is also a heater that can keep us warm. It is propelled by diesel fuel. Uh, it keeps us nice and toasty on those cold spring days or late fall or even summer. Nice big size sink and a good size uh, refrigerator. Uh, so again, this is the starboard side and our helm seat is on the starboard side as you can see here. 
all of Captain Gary's controls. We have a nice Garmin display unit. This is our radio. Uh, this is our heads up display for all of our uh, two engines and just, you know, normal boat buttons. I'm not the best with my boat terminology, but I'm getting there. Uh, over on the port side, this is our dinette. This also goes down into a bed so we can have guests on board. And then over here is the first mate seat. This is my station. And of course, we put Sophie in this basket. That's where she rides. But it's a nice air cushioned seat. So I have a nice ride in the bumps. And as you can tell, the uh, bow, just pull back the curtains here. We've got a little bit of snow on the bow that we gotta clear. And I'm just praying everything looks good down here in the berth. So we do have a head on board. And then down here, this is where Gary and I sleep. Also being used as storage in the off season for fishing nets. But that filler cushion goes in the middle there and we have a nice V-burst sleeping area. That's the captain getting everything off the uh, top of the boat here. We have a life uh, dinghy up on top in our shore runner. Um, we have a small engine, outboard engine that goes on that as well. And we can easily get it off of the roof by hand. It's pretty lightweight, but uh, there you go. That's a tour of the Naughty Pleasure. It's not much tour, but she's a heck of a boat. We can't wait to use her in the future. On the evening of March 31st and early morning hours of April 1st, I was able to catch one of the most beautiful Aurora shows of the year with my GoPro. This was a special treat because within a few days, the stars would disappear until fall due to our midnight sun. Just more proof that spring is around the corner. Most Alaskans, when they travel out of state, usually use Alaska Airlines. However, with Gary being a former ramp manager at the Spokane Airport for Delta Airlines, Delta has been our airline of choice. We have tons of miles with them and, well, that's who we usually fly with. first week of April, Gary and I flew down to Spokane for a week to celebrate my 49th birthday with friends and family. First up was going to see my mom and going to dinner at one of our favorite restaurants where Gary surprised me with the most beautiful bouquet of flowers. Then the following day we made a surprise visit to our best friends Jeff and Julie. We then spent the night on the town catching up and enjoying our time together. On our final day in town, we visited Gary's brothers and then we went up to our friends April and Brad's farm where I got to check in on some of my chickens I had to rehome when we moved north to Alaska. On our return back home, we weren't the only ones who had flown north. We spotted our very first sandhill crane of the season and we can now declare spring is officially here. 
And in true fashion, with the snow almost gone and riding out of the question, Gary's snow machine finally showed up. Go figure. With the snow melting and the ground thawing, it was finally time to start working on the support piers for our two second story decks. We're getting the deck put in soon. Woohoo! This pier system will ensure our decks will last for decades to come with our extreme weather and earth movements. Big boys coming in. Right over our house. With Gary's workshop complete, another spring project we conquered was building wall shelving to hold and organize all our moving totes. I have to say, Gary's making good use of his tools, and I'm so proud of all of his hard work. As the month of April progressed, so did the house. With our appliance package starting to arrive and our laundry appliances installed, the electricians were busy hanging all of our light fixtures, chandeliers, and fans. And then the carpenters showed up and they started to lay out our wood floors. Mantles were built and our doors were hung with care. And oh, the plumber showed up and we now have working toilets, a huge milestone if you ask us. And our missing slatter door showed up. Gary just called and there's a moose outside. So we're gonna go outside, take a picture. Gary wasn't the only one deep into spring projects. I had some in the works as well. First, I worked on adding some weatherproof deck carpeting for the boat, as well as adding a customized foam mattress pad to our unusual shape of our V-birth bed. And then, with so much leftover lumber from the build, I built planter boxes for my first Alaskan garden. With the help of our neighbors and their tractor, we were able to source some soil at the local box store and fill them and immediately ran out to a local greenhouse and got my first veggie starts. Oh, and look what showed up! My snow machine! It's only Mother's Day. Another project we got started on was something we did at our last house in Washington. It was to take a tree from the property and mill it into a fireplace mantle. This birch was harvested from our property during June of 2021 when we were clearing the land. And today, thanks to our neighbor Nick, we were able to mill it down for not only the mantelpiece, but slabs to make into other things around the house. Once we got it home, we ended up putting it into our mechanical room to dry as we couldn't find a local kiln willing to take it for the drying process. I am happy to report it worked out great and well. I'm still waiting for this project to be completed almost a year later. Maybe this video will nudge Gary to continue working on it so we have a finished product in our beautiful bedroom. 
Next time on Living Free Alaska, Summer has arrived and it's time to take the naughty pleasure out for her maiden voyage of the 2022 season. Then later, we head out for our first camping adventure since moving to Alaska and drive out to Chicken, Alaska for the famous Chicken Stock Music Festival. So buckle up and enjoy the ride here at Living Free Alaska. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.